Hi guys, in this session I'm going to show you how to graph piecewise functions. So before we start graphing then, we need to define what a piecewise function was well, simply is a function which is built from pieces of different functions over different intervals. So we can see we have two pieces of functions here, function of x is equal to x, function of x equals to 4 and we have different intervals so this is only applicable when x is less than 0 function of x is equal to 4 only applicable when x is greater or equal to 2 we can simply write this as y's because we we are used to using y so we could say y is equal to x when x is less than 0. We can also say y is equal to 4 when x is greater or equal to 2. So let's go ahead and graph these two functions. So for the first one then, y equals x, that is a straight line with a gradient 1, but only applicable when x is less than 0. So we go where x is 0 over here, and draw an empty circle because there is no equal sign like this one here and our line is only applicable this way so it's a gradient of one only in that area where x is less than zero then we have the next part of the function y is equal to four this is valid when x is greater or equal to 2. So we go to x equals 2 and y equals 4. Now this time we have the equal sign. So we're going to draw a solid circle. And this function is only applicable when x is greater than 2. x is greater than 2 is in that direction. So this graph is now complete. Now, for example, two, we have function of x equals to negative x if x is less or equal to zero. And then we have function of x is equal to x plus two if x is greater than one. So we can again say y equals negative x, that's the first part. And the next part of the function or next piece of the function, y is equal to x plus two and this is valid when x is greater than 1. So the line y equals negative x is a straight line going leaning in that direction and it's only applicable when x is less or equal to 0. So we go to x equals to 0 which is over here and draw a solid circle there because there's an equal sign of on our inequality and that line is leaning that way with a gradient of course uh, negative one so you draw a nice line uh, with a ruler and a pencil uh, in your exam or test make sure it's a nice clean line so that is that line there and then we have y equals x plus two what we can do here is we can uh, put some values of x so the first one is one which is given when x equals 1, what is y? So we know y is going to be 1 plus 2 is 3. So you can do a small table. Then we can do x equals 2. What do we get? y is going to be equal to 2 plus 2, which is going to be 4. So we've got two points. We can now draw this line. Uh, okay, so it's only valid when x is greater or uh, greater than 1. So we go to x equals 1 and then y is going to be 3 and draw an empty circle like that and then the next point is x equals 2 and y is 4 so we just plot that point and we know our line has to go that way gradient is 1 uh, we compare this with y equals mx plus c okay and now for our last example then, we have function of x equals negative 2 if x is less than negative 2. Uh, well, let's just write those down. So we can write this as y again. y is equal to negative 2. That is the first piece. And then we got 
y equals to zero and then we have the last part is uh, y equals to x plus 3. Let's start with the first one, y is equal to negative 2 when x is less than negative 2. So x is less than negative 2 is over here, y is equal to negative 2, so it's down here somewhere. So is it straight line? We go there, there's no equal sign, we draw a circle and then y is negative 2 so it is going to be going that way so that's the first line and then we've got y equals to 0 when x is equal to negative 2 so again we go to negative 2 is equal sign this this time and draw an, an a full solid circle and y is equal to zero is on that line. So that's just one point. And for the last part of the function, then we can we can start with this value here, negative two, and find the y value. So when x equals to negative two, y is going to be equal to negative two plus three is one. When x is equal to let's say negative 1 because it has to be greater than negative 2 then y is going to be equal to negative 1 plus 3 which is 2 we now have two points we can go ahead and draw our line so we go to x equals negative 2 which is here the first line x is negative 2 y is 1 so is over here and now we can draw a solid circle again because we have the equal part as, uh, here on our inequality. The next part, x equals negative 1, y is 2, so it's going to be over here. And then we can see the gradient is 1, as y equals mx plus c. And the y-intercept is actually 3, so we can plot that point as well and now we can draw our line so it's going to be going in that direction so thank you for watching guys if you enjoyed this video please remember to like and subscribe bye for now